In December 2009, the Commission invited a group of young equality and human rights champions from all over Great Britain to a debate that focused on identity-based bullying. The debate focused on race, homophobic bullying and disabled bullying. Young people were broken up into groups and were asked to make pledges of action that they could take back to their local communities, either as individuals or as groups. The Commission made it known at the debate that we would be selecting three pledge ideas to take forward and make them a reality. Our chosen campaigns were led by Stefan from Banbury, Misunderstood, a group of girls from London, and Rahul from Middlesex. I pledged to find out why there is voluntary segregation in my school. The main aims of my campaign were to find out whether people would think it would lead to racial tension. Misunderstood pledged to create a documentary challenging the perceptions of people with learning disabilities to raise awareness about the different types of disability there are and to let young people know the different ways they can help. To get younger people to like, do more voluntary work um, helping other young people. At the debate in December, I pledged to support campaigns working to reduce homophobic hate crime. My campaign is for individuals to reduce saying the word gay in the lightest sense of term. They're saying, oh, this class is so gay when it actually doesn't actually mean that. The Commission worked with all three campaigns, including giving advice on project planning and campaign tactics, as well as linking them up with various different organisations that were relevant to the topics that they were facing. I think it makes so much difference to have lots of people supporting you because then you feel generally you feel more positive about what you're doing. It spurs you on to do even better. I took questionnaires of all of the six formers. I thought it was really important, the development of talking to people like strangers completely, just asking, sorry, you're, I know you're busy, but um, can I interview you? Stefan's research was discussed at a debate at his school. The students will see Stefan as someone who's taken on a challenge, they've taken on something controversial, has taken on a real issue, um, and has managed to bring people together, and has led a vision that things could be improved. He did really well in terms of creating an atmosphere of openness, in which people could say what they really felt, and at the same time, they're able to respect one another. I put in a lot in, and I think on the day I got a lot out of it. We've gone to um, a special needs school and we created a relationship with them and then we started creating a film from there. Misunderstood, we're provided with video production training. What we were doing with them today was an editing workshop. We had a lot of conversations with them and talked about the structure of their film and what, what they hoped to get out of their film and then we took that onto the edit suite. They feel really strongly about this documentary about disability and, and the potential that it's got in raising awareness, which I think is a really positive thing. To see that in young people is a great thing. I think it's good that you can see the visual side of our campaign because it shows what peop um, young people are actually doing, young people are actually taking an action. We're going to show our school because we want them to take this further, the relationship further, instead of just leaving it at this. The Equality and Human Rights Commission is giving these young people a voice and they're making the most of it. They're, they're doing something really creative with their film. And the, the best thing is, is the fact that they can actually raise awareness and they can actually touch and affect young people in, in a very positive way. At school, I hear a lot of really, really um, homophobic language and I want them to actually understand that that word has a different meaning and when they use it, it really upsets other people. I've been mentoring Rahul, who um, has come up with a, a project that he wants to do in his school, a workshop. I've been helping him come up with the best way to introduce the idea in a classroom situation. My advice has mainly been around how he can get people who aren't directly affected by the issue to respond to it. I think it's important that it's peer-led, because as a teenager, I know what other teenagers want. And I think that it's a really important issue, especially in teens, because we use a lot, quite a lot of slang. And I think that if I tell them this slang's wrong, they'll probably reflect to me more better than a teacher that doesn't actually use a slang. 
Rahul came to the Commission's office to review his campaign. I had to stand up in front of a whole class and at, at first it was pretty, I was actually pretty nervous but after I became more chilled out because the students really um, affecting me in a kind of a positive attitude. A lot of people, they're, they're really on board, they're really fine with the kind of idea that they actually think there is a problem here and they want to solve it. I've been so impressed by everything he's done, it's completely self-motivated. I always feel like that the people that do these projects are, inspire me far more than I could ever inspire them. All the skills that I've learned have helped me tremendously. When we first started this project, we were a bit laid back, but now it's actually taught us like more communication skills and teamwork. It's definitely opened my mind much more to issues that I um, previously wasn't aware of. At the end of the day, you see what you, you reflect back and you see what changes you've actually made and it will make you feel proud.